वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग पार्टनर सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड एपीआई इंटीग्रेशन सो गेट एपीआई वाज डन नाउ इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन पोस्ट एपीआई इंटीग्रेशन सो बेसिक यू आई हैव क्रिएटेड सो यू कैन सी ओवर हियर पोस्ट एपीआई विल बी देयर सो यू कैन जस्ट टेक द पूल ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव मेंशन सो दैट यू कैन हैव एन एक्सेस टू दिस प्रोजेक्ट आल्सो एंड द यू आल्सो यू कैन यूज सो पोस्ट एपीआई so for post api obviously api is there so i'm use i'm going to use my api so you can see project api.jrasm.in this is the uh, place where you can find the api in that complaint and in that complaint i'm going to use department api so i'm going to do the i'm going to create new department by using the post api so this is the ui for that but to access the this api you need to run the project on 4209 instead of 4200 you need to run on the different port so you can just so ngs hyphen hyphen port 4209 this is the command by which you can run the port on uh, run the application on particular port number now let me just show you the html so here i have created the html uh, just to showcase the data we are going to showcase then we have a form over here so if you can see this is the form now we are going to create the new department right so this is the api add new department so here let's see this is the object which we need so in gate api we don't need to send the object but when it comes to post api post api is normally used to create new record okay so for that we need to pass the object also so this is the object if you are new if you are not very familiar with the api now so see api team will be there they will provide you the api url and what object you need to send so just like that either some api team will have a swagger so you can also know like what object they need so just like this api add new department is the api and this is the object we need so let's copy this and we are going to use the template form now let me just open it side by side split right okay so first thing whatever the object you have to send that object you need to create so let's say department obj colon any is equal to this is the object let's initialize this string with m so this is the object which i have created now this object we need to bind to our form so by if we use the template form so we have to import the forms model as well because we are going to use temp ng model so after object creation i have added forms module then in our html so these are the elements so here i have to bind square bracket round bracket ng model is equal to double quote and what we need to bind department object dot what department name will go over here department id is the primary key so we don't need to bind that we will by default send it as a zero and department logo over here so see forms module i have added object which i have created and you cannot pick these properties by your own it should be whatever api needs you cannot decide of your own like what properties you are going to pick this should be come from the api side only whatever the api need that only properties you should have in your object now again on this button click we are going to integrate post api call we have to integrate our api call so let's right click event on save let's create this function over here now we need to create the instance of http client module so now in previous get api i have told you like how we can create the uh, instance of http by using constructor but here i'm i'm explaining new thing that is by using inject so let's say http is equal to inject so this is inject we got this inject from angular 16 and here you need to specify the object whatever you have created so http client so this is what we have done so this same thing you can do in the constructor also that is called as a dependency injection and this is like we are injecting this injectable service into our component now over here this dot http dot post api call so whenever we talk about post api call post api call needs two of two parameter first is the url and second is the body body is nothing but the object which we want to insert so double quotes url and comma let's get the url also so let's try it out over here let's execute 
So you can see uh, here also you can test the API. See after execution, I have sent this object, but uh, there might be department name already exists with the data department name string. So it has shown the error. So this is the URL what we need. So this is the post API URL, first parameter. And second parameter, what I said, object. So object is nothing but this object because this object only we have binded to our form. Let me just maximize this. Then we need to subscribe. So whenever you are doing the API call, always there will be a subscribe. Result colon any arrow function. Now, if you see the swagger, see this result property you need to watch out for. It is with my API. According to API, it will change what type of response your API is getting. According to that, you will change your code. Okay. So with my API, I'm going to return the data type of three three field message, result, and data. You need to check for the result field. If result pro result field is true, means API call is success. If result is false, in message property, you will get the error. So this property you can add to check over here. So if result dot result. If it is true, we have to show the alerts or something like department created successfully. So we will say alert and here we will say department created success, whatever the message you want to display. Then in else, if there is some error from the API call, you will get that result property and false. So it will execute the else block and in alert, you will send what you will show whatever the message you get from API side only. So result dot message. Let's just add a debugger over here. In subscribe also we will add. Make sure whenever you are writing the code for the first time, you debug it properly. You make sure every value, what you are supposed to, you are get, you are getting or not. You should check that. So let's say quick. Let's open the console also. Now, if I say engineering logo, I will just keep it as empty. Logo dot png something now why continuous api call is there okay let's check for save so on click of save no so we didn't call yeah we call also let's save let's save why this is breaking oh sorry 4209 we have to run we have changed it now and when you are making the api call now so in the network fetch block should be on you shall you will be able to see all the api call going on so engineering department name logo dot png just something i'm giving on click of save Let's check debugger is on or not. Yeah, it is on. So on click of save, our function should trigger. See, we have got a debugger. And if you hover on this department object, see, department ID is zero. Logo is also there and engineering is also there. Now, if we continue in the network tab, you will see one error. And we have got the response also 200, means success. So in result property, you can see we have got result property as true. And message also we have got. And whatever the updated department ID would created now you can see over here 15 so if result is true we are showing alert means department is created successfully now what we need to do those whatever the departments we have created we will we will try to display in this table so let's check the api so get parent department this is the api to get all the department created uh, see the department which we have created engineering is over here. So now we have to integrate this gate API and we have to display whatever the departments created in the table. So let's do that also. So get departments. This is the gate API again, right? So this dot HTTP dot gate. For gate API call, we just need to pass a URL. So only one parameter. Which is then dot subscribe round bracket round bracket colon any sorry result colon any arrow function and whatever the response we get that we need to store it also somewhere so here i'm creating another variable department list to hold the department data 
and here we will put it over here this dot department list is equal to res dot data because in data i'm going to get the array but so again we have not taken the uh, life cycle hooks so i cannot explain like what ng on in it but just for now so what we need to do on the page load we need to call this api so that and this we will bind to ng for also in the table so let's complete that also so over here let's write the for loop we should not use ng for now because again we have to implement the ng uh, form common module department list because this is something new so everyone is going to expect you to write by using this syntax only so try to be familiar with at the rate if and at the rate for loop now here we will show the index in interpolation plus one because index will start from zero then over here department name we will show item dot department name and here we will have department logo whatever the value we inserted let's save let's save so if you see currently on the page load no api call is there what should happen on the page load get department api call should be there whatever the data we get that should be displayed over here we should not need to create a we should not need to add a button to get department on the page load itself that should happen so to do that we have something like on init life cycle so this is life cycle means just an event which get triggers automatically so i'm implementing on init then on the class level we need to implement it also implement on init and once we implement it will ask us to create ng on init life cycle event so this is the life cycle event which get triggers once the component initialized successfully so this function we have to call inside this so now once we save this you will be able to see the api call on the page load so see on the page load we didn't do anything but the api call is there and whatever the data we have created it is available over here now one more thing so once we save the data now that data should be available over here we should not be we should not force user to again reload to see the new data so for that in case of save we will call this api again so this function we will call it over here so let's check the whole functionality now uh, so engineering is created let's say sales is also created so let's try to create a department let's say development development is not there let's uh, let's try the other thing also as engineering is already there right if i try to save see i'm getting the error this error is also we are getting from the api because we have added this else if now so that's why else block is executing and whatever the message api are sent that message is visible over here so let's see because in the api side i have made this department name as unique so development now let's click on save so once department is saved on okay you can see department is visible so we don't need to refresh it again because in case of save we are calling this api so this api will again get the new department and it is visible so this is how we do the post operation so again once i will repeat so first you need to check like what object you need to send to that your post api so that object you will create then that object you will bind to your form correct by using ng model or reactive then you will create a function http by using http post we need to pass the url and the object also this is the only change because we are going to create a new record what type of data you need to create so that you need to send correct so like this okay so that's it with this current video uh, in next video we will try to complete edit and the delete